On board HMS Queen Elizabeth in the North Sea, F-35B jets from 617 Squadron. The UK's most technologically advanced fighter aircraft has joined up with the aircraft carrier to continue sea training for the carrier strike group. Four Lightning jets left RAF Marham to join the warship this week. Group Captain Jim Beck is RAF Marham station commander and told me what 617 Squadron have been preparing for. The whole mandate for going to do this is to train day and night how to get from the ship to the ship and actually war fight and deliver a capability. And it's not just about the pilots. We've got engineers learning what it's like to fight the whole system in a maritime environment and we haven't done that for almost a decade. And this is the complete circle. So our instructors learn how to fly, test all the procedures. And this is the event where the instructors are now teaching the students who happen to be 617 Squadron. Uh, and, and that will be effectively our culmination ready to declare a warfighting capability at the end of this year. So why is it important to get everybody working as a whole and practicing essentially on that ship? We haven't done this for so long since the retirement of the Harrier GR9. Um, and it's actually so long ago that most people have not forgotten it's just not not necessarily written it down or, or got the procedures in place um, and with f-35 the jet is so different to anything that we've ever had before so there's a new way of engineering a new way of flying it a new way of, of working to and from the ship the the autonomy is just incredible um, and as such we've got a blank piece of paper in many areas and we're now just starting to describe what that looks like so talk to me about the timeline then. Where are we in terms of the training process and then getting everything fully operational and having a carrier strike group that's ready to go? This has been an incredibly long journey. We started flying under sovereign operations back in 2015 over in Edwards, California, where we, we fought alongside the Marine Corps, the US Navy and the US have to test it through, its, through, through what it really can do. We then set out our test pilots to work out how this jet works on this particular carrier. The two don't necessarily just go together. We've got to ensure it's safe and we understand what we're doing. Towards the end of last year, we put it through its operational test where we were working out, just scratching on the surface of how we fight it. Then we taught our syllabus at the beginning of this year. And, and really, this is the culmination where we start to put it through its taste, te sort of testing from a warfighting capability. And that will come together towards the end of this year where we meet up with the United States Marine Corps who will be sending um, quite a large number of jets alongside us. And that will really be stretching the system to understand it all and then realise, actually, are we good to go to war? And once we've got that assurance, at the end of this year, the intent is to be able to declare initial operating capability maritime, which is a major milestone in the programme. Four F-35s have deployed to the carrier this week. The aim is now to show the aircraft can defend HMS Queen Elizabeth through combat air patrols and strike missions. With 15 Lightning jets now based at RAF Marham, more will soon follow. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel with notifications switched on.